a lot of stuff went down at Old No Fray this weekend. You know, in the middle of the rain, the big rain they had, 40 days and 40 nights of rain. There was this fellow that was working that gate yesterday. His name is, remember, Rick? Well, Rick was down there not to collect money, but Rick was there to keep cars from going down on that old sloppy road. Well, now, here's the sad part. Believe it or not, Rick had a case of the Italian squirts. <laughs> you know what that is. So he had to go up to the to the porta potty they have in the uh, Edison parking lot, and while he's in there, these people from out out in the uh, San Gabriel Valley show up in an oversized motorhome. Really weighted down. They has. Uh, surfboards, motorcycle, everything that they could get on this motorhome, 40-foot motorhome. Now then, while Rick is in the porta potty we used to call him Andy Gumps. Remember back then? Well, while he's in the Andy Gump, this oversized motorhome slips by. He goes down to the foot of the hill where you have to turn left. If you don't, you run into the ball field at the uh, Marine base. He turned left, gets down to where the asphalt stops, gets on the dirt part of the road, down to the beach where it uh, the, turns to parallel with the ocean. He aimed that oversized motorhome and he got too far over to the right and the, he caused the road to collapse. There was an avalanche and he got stuck halfway down and the back of his uh, oversized motorhome was hanging over the dirt road. Now, if that road was paved, that would not have happened. But they refused to pave it. They keep thinking that um, Eddie McBride's coming back. And Eddie doesn't want to have his hurlings, feelings hurt when he goes down to visit Barney Wilkes and the road is paved. They don't want that. They want it just like he had it. Well, reap and ye shall sow. But, anyways, it doesn't look good. It, it doesn't look good at all. There's more rain on the way you know, it's not over yet. Starting Wednesday night, there's a big one, and she's coming down fast. Right now, she's up by uh, Vancouver, Puget Sound, and she's coming down fast. She'll be here Wednesday night, which means, of course, San Onofre is going to be closed starting Thursday for several days. And those guys, that really bugs those guys. You know, they pay for that annual pass. And if you have an annual pass and can't get down there, well, have you ever heard that um, cliche, tough totems? Well, it's going to be tough totems because you paid your money and you're not going to be able to get on that beach because they won't pave the road. Well, 
you know, it's a SSDD. I'm going to Doheny where the streets paved. You drive right in, and they've got those nice uh, parking spots with the uh, uh, yellow lines. You park right in there, no problemo. But regardless, I don't know what. I don't know. I just don't know. I've given up on that place. Uh, they want to have it their way. They can have it their way. You're not going to go down there today either. That place is shut down. I mean, it's locked up tighter than a drum. But how many times have you heard it here before? It's not for me to reason why as it is for me to do or die. I'm going to Doheny. I'm going by the Starbucks. I'm getting a... Uh, I love those. <laughs> you know the Starbucks where they put all that whipped cream and steam and, uh, you know, all that West Hollywood stuff. And, well, you know where West Hollywood is, don't you? Well, I do. So, what are we looking at? Coming up to eight minutes. What we'll do is we're going to leave it here. Um, let the San Onofre uh, Venture uh, Social Club plan their luau uh, and a little uh, tot show, how they have a little kitty show. We're going to let them plan that and they're going to move ahead. Also, I have been getting several notifications about, you know, remember that guy from the uh, Warriors of Radness? His name is Trace. I've been getting a lot of good things about him. But he's from Malibu. What do you expect? Okay. I'm running out of time. Twelve minutes? Already? Okay. Gotta go.